Okay, question 14 in chapter five. We're first talking about Marissa. She's always looking for a great deal while shopping. She found a sale rack where all of the jeans are marked 40% off and her favorite jeans regularly cost $65. So what we want to do is figure out um, the actual cost of what her jeans are going to be. So she believes that she's going to be paying about $30 for her jeans. Now, if we think about what 50% off would be, let's try to estimate there. So if we're just thinking about what half off of her jeans would be, all right, I'm going to be taking my $65 and I'm going to be dividing that by two. What do you get when you divide $65? in half. You should get $32.50. So when we're thinking about how her estimating is, she is writing that it is close to $30. Okay, so 50% is going to be close to 30, but we want to know exactly how much that discount is going to be for her. And then from there, we can find out how much she actually has to go through and pay. So my next step is to find the answer, we're gonna be using the diagram below. So when we use this yesterday, we always know that what we have is my 100% value is gonna go on top of where my 100% is. So we know that her jeans regularly cost $65. So I'm gonna put that 65 over here on top of the 100. Now I have this broken down. So we have what my discount is and then what the remaining price would be. So I wanna first find out what that discount is going to be. So since I know that we're getting 40% off, I don't know what that discount is going to end up becoming. So that's the missing value that I have. Now, if you remember from yesterday, when we were setting up these proportions, we always wanna have wherever my X is being on the right-hand side. So I see this fraction here is what I'm going to start with. So I'm gonna be taking my $65 over my 100%. I'm gonna start there and I'm gonna leave myself some space because I know I'm going to be writing in something with a giant one. Equals, and I set up my other part to my fraction. So some amount is equal to my discount there. So let's work backwards here. We wanna think, okay, what am I multiplying 100 by to get to 40? So let's figure out. So let's take 40 divided by 100. What do I get? 0 0.4. So with my giant one, 0.4 and 0.4, since this is already typed into my calculator, I'm just going to hit times. And then what I have in my numerator of 65. So multiplying straight across, I get that X is equal to $26. So what does X represent? So X represents what that discount is. So when we look down at part C, how much, how much will she save? Well, 40% of that $65 is that $26. So that's how much she's saving. But how much is she gonna have to pay now? So if she's getting $26 off, we wanna know what that remaining 60% of her balance would be. So if the original cost 